So it has been quite some time since we last talked about the man who dubs himself the top G. Of course, they threw both him and his brother behind bars for months at the start of 2023, but for the greater part of the last year, both Andrew and his brother have been free. And while they have still been dealing with that Romanian court case, they've also still been streaming during this time, doing interviews, and of course ranting on Twitter. <laughs> I will say though that their wave of popularity did take a major downturn during that time as well. Don't get me wrong, the Bugatti Master still has a lot of loyal followers shelling him out their money, but the spreading of his content and overall message has been compromised by several of the largest social media platforms. Namely TikTok who seems to not want any mention of his name on their platform entirely. And some of you might remember that Aiden Ross did become one of Tate's biggest meat glazers last year, even shaving his head in solidarity and vowing to the Top G lifestyle. You want to look like this. I'm happy I did this because now my mindset can be strong. Mm -hmm. It's to form the, the best version of myself. Oh, and I almost forgot when he sniffed that chair with Andrew's fresh dingleberries <sighs> lingering around. I mean, I gotta say, when it comes to all-time griffs, this era of Aiden Ross right here might take the cake. And Aiden has still been in close contact with Andrew, and recently people have speculated that he is the reason that the Tate brothers are once again in trouble. Because recently both of the Tate brothers were once again locked behind bars by the Romanian authorities after they showed up with the warrant at their door, and people are speculating that the reason they came to get them was because of this clip from Aiden Ross's stream where he mentioned some text messages from Andrew. Andrew had hit me up, he said, hey, I'm gonna be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you wanna come over and do a week of long streams and content before I leave, I think it'll be big and it's never, it's, I'm sorry, he said it's not, it's basically now or never. I told you guys this year, you know, it's a week of content, right? Um, and again, guys, this might be the last time we ever do this. So it's kinda like, we gotta take advantage of it now because hey bro, it's, it's, it's just, it's basically like, yeah, it's like that. So essentially, people are saying that Aiden leaked Andrew's plan to flee Romania, which he's obviously not supposed to do while this court process is still going on. And so this is actually a statement in response to him being detained in Romania and issued with a UK arrest warrant. And keep in mind, this warrant is being served based on charges that date all the way back between 2012 to 2015 when the two brothers were apparently conducting quite a bit of business within the UK. And in this statement, they talk about this tip coming from Aiden Ross's stream. Last week, we received information that Tate might be planning to flee Romania, where he is due to stand trial for separate allegations of and trafficking. We wrote to the British police to bring this to their attention and to urge them to immediately seek a warrant for Tate's detention in Romania and extradition to the UK. And then here is the video as they emerge from the police truck. And it's actually pretty similar to what we saw last year when they were detained. But this time, instead of serving months in solitary confinement, and eating grubs and maggots and apparently doing all those other things he had to do back then. This was much more like a Spongebob detainment. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Okay, time's up. As Andrew and his brother would literally get out this morning and have this message for the press. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think many people in Romania understand, but in the West, in the countries that are owned by the Satanists, you look a certain level of fame, you either put on a dress or you go to jail, and I'm happy to make my choice, which is jail every single time. My soul is not for sale, neither are my principles. We are innocent men. No, we're very innocent men, and in time, everybody's going to see that, and we're very excited to finish this judicial process and clear our own. So Andrew is standing behind this idea that he is absolutely innocent, and that both him and his brother have done nothing wrong. Uh, it's very funny. I've been asking the Romanian courts to go to the UK myself. I've asked five times and been declined, so now I get to go home. And I think his brother actually says something really interesting right here, which pretty much confirms that the reason they were issued this warrant was because of Aiden Ross's stream. Claims are being made about intentions to flee Romania. Oh, it's come any such claims to Today the judge told me we'd like to get a strike to England. 
That was the claim against me that I was trying to flee. And I said, no, I want to stay here and face justice. I want to win here in Romania. So clearly that's not true. So he's saying it's all BS. We wanted to stay here and face the music and defend ourselves in court and prove that we are innocent. We appreciate the Bucharest Court of Appeals decision to postpone the extradition of Andrew and Tristan. This ruling provides an opportunity for the brothers to participate fully in their defense and for the legal process to proceed in a transparent manner. They went on to say, Our clients are fully committed to actively participating in the legal process and defending their reputation, who we can assume to be Aiden Ross, who misconstrued a text message from our clients while streaming live. There is simply no truth to it. So it basically sounds like Aiden did kind of let the cat out of the bag and exposed to the world Andrew's plans to leave Romania. People were saying that they decided to lock Andrew up because of this statement. I want to make something clear. I was saying this morning on Twitter how John Cena, yesterday at the Oscars, was doing his humiliation ritual to satisfy his paymasters. And everybody say, oh, maybe he's just promoting a movie. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me tell you something. I don't care what movie I'm in. You could not convince me to do that. You could not convince me to do anything fruity or weird. It doesn't matter what movie I'm in because there's no need. I can promote it other ways. I won't do it because my principles are too strong. And the thing with Andrew is that he says things like this, but then on the other hand, he was perfectly fine with exploiting weak men and taking money from them by pretending to be a female model online on one of his cam sites. And he was the one chatting with them, saying all types of fruity messages. So I'm trying to teach these women and the women kept it up. So I said to, said to him, it's like, you know what? It. I'm taking over. So what I did is I unplugged their keyboards and plugged a new one in from me behind the screen. So the chicks would sit there and hit a keyboard that wasn't plugged in. And me and my brother and eventually some staff I trained would do all the talking. The girls were just pure, just famoosers, just laughing and doing this, their titties out. And they were talking to ice cold hustlers. We were taking their money, all of it. You get, you get a man, you get a man with game and give him a female's body, a female avatar. We he will a guy up. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. You'd have Did a you guy. feel bad or no? No, to give a solitary so to hear him talk about not wanting to compromise his morals or beliefs, to me it just does not hold a lot of weight when that's the avenue that he took to get rich. This Twitter user also said that we need to talk about Jimmy Kimmel's involvement in these weird moments. And I will say, I do think there's some merit to that. I don't think that Andrew's comments about this situation had anything to do with him getting detained. But I do think that Jimmy is a little weasel. Y'all know I do not like him. I feel like he's the type of guy that the first chance he gets, he's gonna stab you in your back. Even the beacon of truth had to weigh in on this matter. An hour and a half ago? Why is it that they keep getting, why do they keep getting jailed during Ramadan time? <laughs> they start speaking positively about Islam and then they, they lock them up intentionally so that they can't celebrate Ramadan? I mean, you gotta hand it to the man. He really does know how to always go back to the grift. Like, no dude, not everything goes back to religion. I mean, with the way he tells it, you would think that Muslims occupy like this very small, very niche place in the religious space. When there is literally like 2 billion people on this planet right now who practice that religion. First day of Ramadan. Like it, it, they did it last time too on New Year's Eve. Like there's, tell me, you can't tell me that's not strategic, bro. It's just crazy to me to see these people who want to turn absolutely everything into a conspiracy theory. Just reach for absolute sticks anytime something bad happens to someone who they like. Like, personally, I used to love the Hodge twins back in the day, but they've kind of been on that same wave for quite some time now. And even they came through to say Andrew and Tristan were just arrested again on some made-up charges from 12 years ago. The elites want everyone locked up that goes against their lies. I just don't understand how someone can speak so absolutely about a situation where almost none of the details are public information. Because I've seen quote-unquote evidence that makes them look really bad. And then I've seen other information that points towards their exoneration. But one thing I've learned being on YouTube and covering public court cases over the years is that it's best not to take an absolute biased stance until you actually get a verdict because sometimes all the information that's circulating around in the public is obviously not going to be all the information that the jury is going to have. And so now when it comes to matters in court, I cover the information, cover the various sides, but I'm not going to make a statement that's going to make me look stupid later on, you know, like I did with the Tory Lanez case. Tate's team confirmed that I 
fucked up, and Tate told me, right? I fucked up, and thank God he did not get put back in there because I would have felt really guilty. Either way, it will be interesting to see what happens here. Personally, I don't see these brothers going behind bars for a very long period of time. I do want to know what you guys think about this entire situation. I also find it incredibly ironic that Aiden Ross got them in trouble in this way. Either way, it's been your boy the Tan Superman coming back with yet another update on some internet news. I do want to thank y'all for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing, but as you guys know, it's been your friendly neighborhood Mexican and some other news out here needs to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!